what are the nine feminine qualities that men love and why should you care? You may be someone who want to tap more into your feminine energy, your feminine side, so you can attract more masculine, alpha, high value men. They love feminine women. I'm not saying you should change yourself for men, but if this is something that you also want to do, you also want to embrace that side of you, then this video is for you. So here are the nine feminine qualities that men love and not what you might think. First quality is being warm. So a lot of us think being warm means smiling and being happy and being joyful. And that's not always what that means. Sometimes being warm simply means you are listening. You pay, you're paying attention. You understand, you are observing your environment, paying attention to what he is saying, to how he is saying it, to his body language, that is being warm. When we feel like someone is paying full attention to us, we feel seen, we feel like the other person they care about us. Quality number two is being receptive. So what this means is because you're being present, okay, you are open to what he is offering. You're open to his jokes, his advice, his opinion about things. You're because you're observing him, you're open, you're not clouded by your own judgment. You're just paying attention and then being open, you're receiving it, you're being curious about it. You, you know, you wanna take that gift that he's giving you, um, abstract metaphorical gift, and then looking at it, paying attention to it, observing it, being curious about it, rather than shutting it down, judging it, being negative about it. Okay, this could simply mean laughing at his jokes, okay? Smiling back at him saying thank you. Your body language is being warm, being receptive. Quality number three is irresistible confidence. This is about inner confidence. This is about knowing your inner worth, right? Your inner value and loving yourself and understanding yourself and standing up for yourself. This is such a, such an important quality. And a lot of people don't often equate this with being feminine. You need to be kind of passive, more agreeable. But if you really think about it, a woman who is magnetic is happy. And happiness comes from being herself, being able to be herself. If she is not being herself, she's not being happy. Okay, so irresistible confidence is the ability to be yourself, love yourself, and demonstrate to the world who you are. Okay, confidently, unapologetically. That means speaking your mind, sharing your opinions, having opinions, sharing your values, setting appropriate boundaries from a loving place. Such important qualities in a high value feminine woman. Quality number four is having a soft but firm voice. So I sometimes get very loud and kind of bitchy, right? I have that kind of stern tone in my voice depending on my mood uh, when I talk to my man. And that has its place, okay? However, there are definitely times where I'm very conscious about softening my tone, my voice on purpose. Now, soft doesn't necessarily mean weak. Okay, you can be soft and firm. Quality number five is being non-reactive. This is about being in control of your own emotions, especially when a man comes at you with big emotions. Okay, especially when a man triggers you or he gets angry. You know, he says something that sounds like an attack. Okay, those are the moments when you wanna flare up and get on him, that's when it's very, very useful for you to learn how to be non-reactive. Quality number six is being open. This is about letting men in into your inner world, into your inner thoughts and your inner emotions. This isn't about just listing the facts of your day or the events 
of your day. Okay, so if you're telling a man what you did today, you would say something like, I went to the gym this morning, then I had breakfast, then I met my sister for lunch, then I went shopping, then I went swimming, then I picked my daughter up, and then I got home, and then I got changed, and then I had a nap. Okay, that is listing the events of the day, the facts of the day. However, you didn't tell him a single thing about how you felt throughout the day or what you thought about your day. Okay, so letting men in is to share what did you think about the day? What did you think about having lunch with your sister? What did you, how did you feel after you did that? You know, how you felt about things, what you think about things, what your values are, right? what is important to you, what you fear, what you're um, anxious about. That's opening up. That's how you open up to men. Quality number seven is feminine communication. This is about using tact when you are responding to men, especially when you are saying no to men, turning men down, okay, you need to use tact. A lot of women don't know how to turn a man down without shutting him down completely because they are not using feminine communication. They're not using any kind of tact there. For example, when a man asks you for a photo, let's say you're on a dating app, he asks you for, for a photo and you are not comfortable doing that, you could say, no, I don't feel comfortable doing that, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, that has no tact at all, you're not using any kind of tact there. Or you can say, I would love to do that tomorrow. Okay, right now, I, I'm not gonna do that right now, but I'll do it tomorrow. Right, something like that. That would be using tact. You're still saying, I'm not gonna do it, but you're also gently turning him down. Another example is instead of sending him a picture of yourself, which is what, probably what he is asking, you send him a picture of your dog. Okay, still send him a picture. He didn't, he didn't specify what kind of picture. You sent him a picture. It's important that you respond to a man's request indirectly. Quality number eight is to let him lead. This is about having respect for him and trust. Okay, this is such an important element uh, when you're dealing with a high quality masculine man is the ability to trust him to lead you, right? A lot of women who are very independent, they don't trust other people. They naturally have more trust in themselves than with other people. That's why they want to take the lead in everything. They want to take a man in charge because they know they can get it done, but they don't really know if someone else can get it done. However, if you don't let him lead, then he will feel like you don't trust him, you don't respect him. Quality number nine is the ability to ask for help. If you think about it, asking for help, asking someone for help is the highest form of respect. It means you respect them. You respect their abilities, their talents, their ideas, their thinking, right? They're, they, you respect the value that they bring into your life. And masculine men, they want to feel needed. They want to feel desired. They want to feel like they are a valuable asset in your life. Now, one of the most important feminine communication is texting. You can actually radiate a lot of your feminine energy, your magnetism through the words that you send a guy. Words can be magical. And unfortunately, a lot of women don't understand how to properly use this. So they may be repelling men and scaring men away unknowingly. So I wanna help you out there by offering my free texting guide. You can grab that for free in my description below. Go check that out. If you enjoyed this video and you want more videos about how to attract men using your feminine energy, then you'll wanna check out this video right here called The Feminine Ways to attract a man using feminine communication. These are indirect, non-verbal ways to communicate with a man using your feminine energy. And you wanna check that out right here. I'll see you in that video.